Hi guys, Aaron here, and here we finally have my Hot Toys DX6 Jack Sparrow figure. Now, I've done a few videos now since opening my channel about a year and a half ago, so I'm going to do a few shout outs to people's videos I enjoy watching, um, to people who always seem to watch my videos and leave nice comments, uh, and also to those uh, fellow YouTube collectors that always get back to my questions. So. I uh, can't name them all, but um, I'll just get a few done today. Uh, firstly, to P2, whose original Predator videos he did a few years back, uh, got me into collecting Hot Toys, as I never knew that they existed, and I was just collecting Mc McFarlane and NECA stuff, so thanks P2. Um, next, I'll mention D Knight, who has absolutely awesome videos, using different lighting and showing you know figures that almost look like they come to life with these videos, so check his channel out. Uh, Ansel always leaves comments on my videos and um, has, he's a good bloke and um, you know has an awesome collection uh, of hot toys. Um, Wishmaster, a fellow Aussie who um, we have quite you know long chats about collecting, which is quite good because I don't have anyone close to me that um, does this, so it's cool to have someone regularly sharing stuff about. Hot Toys. Uh, Moggy, who seems like a really cool guy and um, always seems to pick up lots of figures and has good reviews. Uh, the Clipper King, uh, who's been around, you know, you know, probably a bit longer than I have, but um, you know, he always you know, says how it is and like me, likes to pick things up early, so it's always good for us collectors who can't wait to get to see early reviews, so uh, check out Clip Clipper King stuff if you um, don't know of it. I'm sure a lot of people have. Uh, Hot Chicks Cool Toy Review. Um, Jay and Wendy always seem to get back to your questions and have a very professional setup uh, when they do the reviews. Um, very professional, so check those guys out. Um, Hot Slayer uh, always leaves me nice comments. And last but not least, uh, CF Motor Racer. Uh, who's everywhere all over YouTube with collecting. Um, he always seems to leave comments and check your videos out and has an awesome collection and uh, likes to kill his boxes. So if you're into that sort of thing, uh, check his channel out. All right, back to the figure. We'll have a look at the box that the DX Jack Sparrow comes in. Uh, very similar to the DX1 and 2 shape and style. Uh, has a really nice soft metallic blue finish. It looks a lot better in person. It's really, really nice. With the yellow inserts, quite solid. The reason why it took me a while to get this is that it's the Sideshow exclusive. I had to have the um, the long telescope. Um, I'm not gonna open the box. Everyone's seen what it's like inside. Uh, you got a you know magnetic fold, which uh, opens up here. And you got like the cover sheet, which has the um, Jack Sparrow flag, and then you got all the different foam layers which house the contents. So, overall, it's an excellent box. I really like it. Alright, uh, also, it comes in the shiver box as well, like most, or all DXs. So. Um, so, when you open that page, you've got the Jack Sparrow sort of flag there. Uh, in the bottom of the box, you've got a pole um, to attach the flag to, so that's a cool accessory. Um, you also have the DX user guide, which you know tells you how to operate the PERS system and uh, do's and don'ts about the figure as usual. Uh, you get a set of hand pegs, which are always handy. You get all these sets of hands here. Seven extra spares, so we've got quite a lot there, which is absolutely awesome. And every little detail's been covered. Uh, if you look at certain hands, they've even done the little black spot uh, like it looks like dirt or from the previous film where he got the black spot on his hand all the rings and like so like a sort of like a glove area part here very very realistic uh, you get the bottle of rum which is quite cool if you want him in a drinking pose you get the spare head sculpt which is awesome it comes with this one on him the serious one um, you know, with the joystick in the back to operate the eyeballs. Um, 
I put the smir smirking, smiling face on, which I think looks a little bit better. Adds to the character's quirkiness, I feel, so that's why I'm going to um, have that one on. There's a long telescope that came with the Sideshow exclusive. Um, you know, adds to the character's, you know, sort of the way he presents himself, you know, you know, like a funny character, so thought I had to have that. There's the standard telescope there. And there's the bottle with the black pearl in it, which is shown in the film. And what they've done, they've just added some gel in the bottom and they must have slid it in, glued it in and put the bottom cap on to get that in. So that's quite cool. Um, also, you get this awesome uh, you know, wheel, just from the black pearl, uh, with the wood decking, which is like a three layer, sort of like a card, hard cardboard. Uh, which looks awesome with the colouring. You got all the old sort of barnacle corroding look on it. it actually spins as well, it spins freely. Uh, you have the rope on it, which doesn't affect how it spins. And what you do with the rope, you got it, I haven't done it yet, but you tie this rope up. There's two holes on both sides here in the board, and you tie it under so it keeps it secure. There's a little concave area underneath where you can tie the knot to hold it in. That's very well thought out. You get the Pirates of the Caribbean nameplate on Stranger Tides which is magnetized. Um, here it doesn't seem to stick. You get the magnets on the bottom but when you put it forward it clicks in nicely it sort of sits there. Now a lot of people are saying this is a contender for figure of the year and uh, just by looking at it uh, on other videos you know it looked good to me and um, but it was a big call for me to sort of agree with that at the time. Now they've got it, uh, it's just, it ticks all the boxes. Everything is, you know, absolutely awesome. And the amount of stuff with this figure um, is second to none. It's, you know, worthy of the DX line. Could be probably the one of the best um, DX that we've ever got. So, um, even if you're not a pirate fan and you're just a 1.6 collector, if you get this, you're just going to be really happy with it. And it's really fun to play with. Um, and pose. You also get some other accessories you've got to install yourself. You get like the duck's foot here. You have to sort of slip knot that over the belt. You got his like a couple of beads there, which you also have to slip knot over the belt. You got the compass, which he has in the film, which has a, even has a little latch. You undo that, and you got the inside parts of it, the inner workings. Um, get his two revolvers. You got a large one here. Just needs to be sort of adjusted and pushed into the belt. Same with the other one, you have a slightly smaller revolver. Um, yes, yeah, so I've just installed those. You also get his sword, which uh, once slid out, is that sort of hard plasticky metal um, type of blade, which you get with the um, Predators uh, on their wrist blades, on the new ones. And you also have to Add another accessory here, which is mother's shrunken head, which is quite cool. So yeah, that's just the accessories he comes with. Also with a standard stand as well, which is a must if you've got no room to display this at the time, which I don't at the moment. Um, I wish the new Goblin had one of these uh, when I got that, but not to worry. Um, right, let's go take a look at the head sculpt. Absolutely awesome spot on Jack Sparrow and Johnny Depp. So the smirk. Got him with his hat on at the moment. Looks really cool. Now this is one of those figures where you know it's good when you can do absolutely anything with it and it you know, no matter what you do, it looks good. Um, it might be that just type of character in the film where he does have different poses and moves, um, which sort of help with that, but uh, I find it was really easy to put him into position and put him anywhere and it's just really hard to decide what to do with him. You could have 10 of these uh, figures all lined up and you could have them all looking different, different poses, uh, take his jacket off, have him with his you know, vest and uh, white shirt on, without the hat, with the hat, it's just so many things you can do and it's just so hard to try and find a pose to keep him in. I've had him in like three or four poses already and um, you know, I really liked it and the next day um, decided to change it, you know, and I've got into this one now, which is like his really uh, quirky sort of 
eccentric sort of moving he does with his arms. Um, even tomorrow I might just decide to change that again. So in with his hat off. That's another thing he comes with this hat. Just like a almost like a um, felt which has been sprayed or coated in something and held which is sort of glued it into place. So really lightweight. Yeah, so that's a cool accessory as well. Yeah, but once you take that off, look at that. Every little detail on the red uh, that's in the film, all little sort of patterning. You can't really see it with this camera, but it's there. Um, the hair has got a bit of a brown to it, which he has in the film. Uh, the earlier releases from different films had more dark hair, so he's actually getting a bit, he's showing he's getting a bit older. Now, I thought they would have been rubber like the Predator Dreads, but they're not. They're like a like sort of plastic, molded plastic. Um, the next, the other head's really easy to put on. You just gotta, just like other DXs, you just gotta pull this up and it just pops the head off or the hair sculpt off. And the head's really easy to remove. Yeah, uh, if you look down here, he's got, you know, you know, you put the eyes in whatever position you want. Then you've got the goatee, which looks pretty cool. Um, the vest above the white shirt, you know. That's another thing I was um, wondering, you know, just to take the jacket off and having with that because he has just the vest on and the white shirt in most of the film, so I'm keeping him in his classic look at the moment, but um, there's just so much you can do. It's just unbelievable the amount of detail and things, you know, required to put this figure together. Uh, Hot Toys has done a really good job. Um, yeah, so you got this uh, strap here, which holds the sheath for the sword. Uh, you got a number of different belts here, so that which hold the guns and other sort of you know accessories in. You got some fur in there for the belt. Um, you've even got the drawstrings for the, the collar. Um, even the coat, absolutely weathered nicely. It looks like a like a suede leather type jacket. You got the big cuffs. Um, all the buttons around the bottom is uh, I think it's got wire in as well like the Superman cape so you can get a bit of posing out of that which is quite cool just everywhere you look at this figure it just looks like you're looking at him from the film which is quite hard to get with some figures unless you pose them right but no matter what you do with this just amaze you know no no matter what you do or you know where you look at it um, looks dead on accurate to Jack Sparrow so uh, yeah so you can sort of see the, the nice material they used for the vest you got the pants and you got sort of like suede boots uh, which you can adjust by sliding this up and down into how high you want and you've also got the sash which is adjustable as well there's a little magnet here if you want to pull that off and play around with it there's a little clip magnet like the um, Indiana Jones figure so yeah overall there's just so many subtle little details you know in here he's got like you know like a lace tie around his wrist you can't really see it there got tucked away and over this side you got the black tie in there so everything even though you can't see there's other things happening or on this figure that you can't see unless you really start pulling it apart and another good thing about this figure as well um, how I was talking about the posability um, the arms can really really bend quite well really really um, get it get them close to his face um, so there's not just one point I think there's uh, two or three points there in of articulation in in the um, elbow joints so you can really bend them close back up to the shoulders without any trouble so you can get really any pose with it in the torso you got a bit of posability there so you can really get him to arch his back like I have where he's bending backwards um, and then you've got especially I really like in the feet they've got the ball joints in here and they can move side to side up and down all the way around to anywhere you want and that just helps immensely with getting him to stand up I've had no issues with him falling over in any pose they're not stiff, but they are really tight. Um, so they're very movable. 
uh, into wherever direction you want, but they're strong enough to keep the pose. So, you know, as I was saying before, overall, just an amazing figure. And uh, you'll be glad to have it once you have it in your collection. It's just um, one of my, you know, best figures I own now, hands down. As I said before, it just ticks all the boxes. It's awesome. Yeah, so there you have the Jack Sparrow. And even just, you know, up the top here, you know, you've got this little part here which he has in the film. All the beading, intricate details attached to the hair. It's just insane the amount of time it would take just to put each of these figures together. And these are sort of mass produced, so. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Yep, believe the fellow collectors now, you know, probably is the figure of the year, 2011, in regards to sort of every area, so. Very happy to find that in the collection, as I don't have a Jack Sparrow from any previous films from Hot Toys, so. There we go. Alright, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks to those people that always seem to watch my videos and um, leave comments. So I'll do my best to get back to them to you guys as soon as possible when you do. Um, if you're going to subscribe, thank you for doing that. And thanks for watching. See you guys.